as outlined in a letter sent to employees last week by the AMC chair, W. Paul Tippett, and President Jose Duderwerder. Individual department heads are going to decide how to meet the 10% cut, and earlier this month, AMC posted third quarter 1983 losses of $9.1 million, which for them is a tremendous improvement, and they expect to be showing a profit next year. More than 25,000 Wisconsin farmers are going to start harvesting the fruits of the government's Payment and Kind program. They'll also start receiving 86 million bushels of corn worth more than $3 a bushel. The current market value of the corn to be received from government storage is about $258 million. However, the Department of Agriculture says 2% of Wisconsin's 27,210 participants in the Payment and Kind program face penalties of up to $10,000 each for violating terms of the program. Milford Thompson, the acting state director of the Agricultural Stabilization and Conservation Service, said that the county offices have already started collection some of some of the $221,000 in penalties assessed so far under the PIC program. Penalties were assessed against 206 farmers for failure to control weeds or erosion on acres idled through the program or for grazing or harvesting in the acreage. The State Historical Society's Board of Curators has decided to find out why annual attendance at Circus World Museum at Baraboo has declined by more than 90,000 since 1972. Blake Kellogg of Madison is one of four citizen members added to the 137-year-old board along with four legislators earlier this year. Kellogg says the museum's attendance fell to about 117,000 this year from a high of 208,000 in 1972 when its present director was appointed. Kellogg said, how many businesses are surviving today that are doing 44% less business than they were in 1972? He said, something is critically wrong at the museum. From 1974 to 1982, the amusement and entertainment business generally in the Wisconsin Dells area increased 59%. The curators at the museum decided to set up a committee of three to five members appointed by William Kidd, president of the board of curators, to report back in June. If Circus World operates at a deficit next year, the curators also will have the receipts into a capital improvement fund. The owners of the Dallas Kidney Disease Center say that they're not to blame for those fatal heart attacks suffered by three dialysis patients. All three were hooked up to a dialysis machine at the time. The problem is the company that owns the center blames the manufacturers of the machine. For faulty wiring, the patients suffered heart attacks after the fluid floating into their bodies from the dialysis became overheated. Construction of the controversial ELF program in Michigan's Upper Peninsula should start...